futuristic inventions are a fundamental part of the genre world, and so we decided to start a series that takes a look at some of the cool or just plain fun inventions and inventors of the inner, uh, on the inner space radar. Mm -hmm. So I took a trip down to Hack Lab TL for our first inventor, a physician named Julie Lin Wong. Here's a look. Famed science fiction author Jules Verne once said, what one can imagine, another can make real. You think about the submarine, the helicopter, the rocket ship, or the cell phone, they're all awesome inventions inspired by science fiction. And similarly, science fiction is inspired by all the most recent innovative inventions. So I say let's take a look at some awesome, fun, creative, and cool inventions that are truly on the sci-fi horizon. From a 3D bioprinter that creates human skin to the pancake bot, which draws your pancakes onto a hot griddle. Three, two, one, zero, let's go! Inventors have embraced 3D printing technology and are making it their own. Julie Lin Wong is a Harvard educated physician who created and founded 3D4MD, which makes 3D printed medical supplies for space. Okay, AJ, so imagine you're an astronaut on Mars and you've injured your finger. Oh no! I'm on Mars and I've injured my finger! And so, uh, you know, there are no hand therapists on Mars, we don't have a hand specialist, yeah. but uh, we do have a 3D printer. You know, you can think of a 3D printer as like a Star Trek replicator, yeah. right? It's like a 3D photocopier in space. Mm. And so, one of the exciting things about science fiction is that it'll often inspire uh, inventors here on Earth to try and um, create those technologies. And so, it's nice now to actually be able to tell people Star Trek replicators are real, they do exist. The first 3D printer was launched at the International Space Station last fall. Wow. And the first object uh, that was 3D printed in space is part of the printer itself. So that means that the first Star Trek replicator is partially self-replicating. Whoa! This ratchet wrench was also printed at the International Space Station. Is it really common for technology that's originally created for space exploration to find practical application in the world? Absolutely, 100%. If you look at satellites, for example, yeah. right? Uh, they originally, um, you know, for, uh, they had, you know, a space application. But you and I can use our cell phones today because of the satellites that exist. Okay, so AJ, if you would please humor me. Uh, this is my okay. Princess Leia hoodie. Great. So if I could get you to put this on. Nice, perfect. Oh, you look marvelous. So while R2 is talking to us, we're going to take out our 3D printer. And the so, 3D printer's in an R2 bag? Yeah. Is that small? Yes, exactly. Julie Lynn had taken my finger measurements and was about to 3D print my very own personalized finger splint that fits just me in case I injure my finger on Mars. I'm ready for my Cinderella moment. All right, here we go. Oh, it fits perfectly. Perfect. That's great. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh. <laughs> Well, thank you again, Julie Lynn. I've got my finger splint at home, should an emergency ever happen. Right, never know. Uh, uh, you can find out more about her at her website, 3D4MD.com, and the pancake uh, 3D printer that Which we mentioned in the story. I need to own, Everyone yes. Everyone needs a pancake 3D printer. <laughs> uh, actually, there's a Kickstarter campaign going on right now. You can find out more at kickstarter.com. Oh, very cool. And you know what's fun, too, about uh, Julie Lynn? So yeah. she was in the news a couple of weeks ago, because do you remember that story where she found Commander Chris Hadfield's yeah, flight yeah. suit in a thrift store here in Toronto, Amazing. bought it for $40, wasn't sure it was actually his, got in contact with him, and yeah, it's his. And then his son came out to say, oops, we, we gave the wrong box to charity. Man. That's cool. Can you imagine if, like, Neil Armstrong's oh, family did imagine. that, like a bunch of moon rocks ended up in the <gasps> thrift store? Oh, man. That would be super cool. I would just keep them.